What's up, Turtle here coming at you with a new intro video and we are doing an opening. We have a, probably gonna be a pretty quick opening. We have a Sword and Shield ETB featuring Zamazenta and the box is a little dusty. This is like part of the initial batch of ETBs I got and then kind of like we did some giveaways and then I ended up just purchasing the prizes through an online vendor as it was just cheaper on shipping. So we had a couple of these left over and to hopefully hold us over to as click early or as close as we can get to Rebel Clash. Really excited for that release. Due out in May. All right, but yeah, hope you enjoyed the new intro. I did just commission it off Fiverr. I'll put a link down below to the artist and kind of like where I did it. In case there's other bookie I want to create something simple or something similar. It was from, I thought it was a pretty good price as far as different fiber options and I'm pretty happy with the results. And here we go right into our first pack, eight packs, Sword and Shield. So now that's been basically time for the next release. Uh, as we kind of look at the Sword and Shield sets, I will say that I'm pretty happy with the sets and you know, start to a new era and all that. And But we're excited to move on to the next part of uh, the Pokemon TCG and our first pack is a whiff. Lucky Egg is a cool, um, and we do a reverse saw. I should put that one off to the side. Hope everyone's having a good day and uh, that everyone's obviously staying safe and staying healthy. Huge shout out to anyone that is involved with, you know, the front lines uh, or how, in whatever way that means, whether it's the medical field or you're, so you are part of essential personnel for your work. Uh, big shout out to you and please stay safe. All right, pack number two, we have a Sobble into, okay, Frostmoth. We're getting not ultra rares, but some pretty good utility cards. Frostmoth, I think is one that one card that a lot of people were excited about and haven't seen much action yet. Maybe Rebel Clash will be when he can make his break, breakout. I think they have the, I think it's the water bucket is coming in the set. But all right, on to the next pack. So this is an ETB, so pull rates could be anything. Um, just getting one hit is probably par for the course, but there are plenty of times when you just kind of whiff and get nothing. And uh, yeah, so far not looking too good. Um, I like to call it a big win is any kind of texture card, which that would be my desire. A supporter would be awesome. Thinking like a professor's research specifically. All right, here we go. Pokemon Center Lady, Crow Gunk, Meowth, a Cup of Tea, a Rapalock, kind of a cool card. Oh, ooh, okay, there we go. Zacian V, very nice. So we did get a good hit in the Doggo with the Sword. Um, probably dropped significantly in price, but you know, it's kind of hard to, there's a lot of factors at, at play here. Obviously, there's no IRL events going on, so the demand for it obviously will be significantly impacted. And then you have the tins coming out next month, which I think is going to be a very good product. So if you can definitely find a good deal on it, if you can find a play to pay like 25% off, I think that's worth it. Uh, there is one at Game Nerds, but you do you can't get two of those. You get one of that Zacian and one for Zamazenta. So definitely not as good as you can find a straight up 25%. But as far as hits go, as if we had to get a regular ultra rare hit, that would definitely be the one we would want. So pretty happy there. Let's get a couple quick balls. Let's get some more good utility. Still have never, haven't pulled that the golden one. So that would be absolutely amazing. Ooh, I feel like I can see some shine at the top. So I think we do have something here. We have a potion. And then we have oh, a Rainbow Rare and a Zacian Rainbow Rare BD. This is our second Rainbow Rare BD. I think we pulled a Full Art BD. <laughs> One of the more disappointing cards from this set. Attach a basic energy from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. It's like, wait, where's the second sentence? <laughs> where's the rest of that card? BD was kind of annoying during the game and super underwhelming in the TCG. But hey, you know what? We got our textured card and it was max rarity and we got a Zacian. So this is a home run box. Like I said, sometimes it it's a huge letdown when you don't get nothing, but it's not that uncommon. 
And I feel like more often than not, you only get one ultra rare. Ooh, reverse quick ball, very nice. Very happy with that. And another one. We got a turtle, Torkoal V, one of the more disappointing cards. I really wanted this to be a good card, but ooh, look at this. This is a awesome pack and amazing ETV. And we get to show off our new intro. So a lot of good stuff happening in this quick opening. And here we go, last pack. I can't imagine there's any last pack magic to be had here after all those pulls. We were, can't be too greedy. We already have home run of an ETB. So this is gonna be it. This is our last pack guys. As always, huge thank you to everyone that has supported the channel in the many ways that are available. Uh, thank you to you all and hope you have a good day. Stay healthy, stay safe. Ooh. But what an amazing ETB, holy moly. I'm Wanna Turtle, I'll catch you guys next time.